Managing Labrador Hip Dysplasia, an essential guide for owners and breeders. Labrador hip dysplasia, also known as canine hip dysplasia CHD, is a common genetic orthopedic condition that affects Labrador retrievers. It is characterized by the abnormal development of the hip joint, leading to pain, lameness, and reduced mobility in affected dogs. Understanding this condition is crucial for Labrador owners and breeders, as early detection and management can significantly improve the quality of life for affected dogs. Hip dysplasia is a hereditary condition caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. The condition occurs when the hip joint fails to develop properly, resulting in the hip socket, acetabulum, being shallow and poorly formed. This, in turn, causes instability and abnormal movement of the femoral head, ball of the hip joint. Over time, this abnormal movement leads to wear and tear on the joint, causing pain, inflammation, and eventually arthritis. Labrador retrievers are particularly susceptible to developing hip dysplasia due to their genetics. In fact, the breed has one of the highest prevalence rates of this condition. The genetic component means that affected Labradors can pass on the condition to their offspring, leading to a perpetuation of the problem within the breed if not carefully managed. The symptoms of Labrador hip dysplasia can vary from mild to severe, depending on the extent of the joint damage. Some dogs may show no obvious signs of discomfort until they become older, while others may exhibit lameness and difficulty in getting up, running, or climbing stairs from a young age. The affected dog may also show reluctance to engage in physical activities, such as playing fetch or going for long walks. Pain and discomfort can worsen with increased activity and may be more apparent after periods of rest. Diagnosing Labrador hip dysplasia often involves a combination of physical examination, radiographs, x-rays, and assessment of clinical signs. During the physical examination, the veterinarian will assess the range of motion, joint stability, and any pain or discomfort that the dog may exhibit. X-rays are essential for visualizing the hip joint and assessing the severity of the dysplasia. Yeah. Additional diagnostic tests, such as computed tomography CT, or magnetic resonance imaging MRI, may be recommended for more detailed evaluation. Once diagnosed, the treatment options for Labrador hip dysplasia depend on the severity of the condition and the age of the dog. In mild cases, conservative management strategies may be sufficient to alleviate symptoms and slow down the progression of arthritis. This, this may include weight control, physical therapy, joint supplements, e. glucosamine and chondroitin, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs NSAIDs, for pain relief. In more severe cases, surgical interventions such as femoral head ostectomy FHO, total hip replacement THR, or juvenile pubic symphysiotis JPS, may be necessary to restore function and relieve pain. Preventing Labrador hip dysplasia requires a multifaceted approach that involves responsible breeding practices. It is crucial for breeders to screen their breeding dogs for hip dysplasia through hip scoring programs. These programs typically involve x-raying the dog's hips and sending the radiographs to specialist organizations for evaluation. Dogs with poor hip scores should not be used for breeding to minimize the risk of passing on the condition to future generations. Additionally, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and avoiding excessive exercise during growth phases can help reduce the risk of developing hip dysplasia. In conclusion, Labrador hip dysplasia is a prevalent orthopedic condition that affects Labrador retrievers. It is a genetic disorder characterized by the abnormal development of the hip joint, leading to pain, lameness, and reduced mobility. Early detection and management are crucial for improving the quality of life for affected dogs. Responsible breeding practices, regular screening for hip dysplasia, and appropriate treatment options are essential for preventing and managing this condition within the Labrador Retriever breed. With proper care and attention, Labradors with hip dysplasia can still lead fulfilling lives.